Wagwan Massive and Crew, DJ Cool Breeze here once again with another tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how I turn my SX2 into a beast of a controller, pretty much just pumping it up on steroids. Uh, I don't use effects and that's one of the key things right here. If you're not a DJ who regularly use effects on your uh, controller, then pretty much these knobs and these buttons at the top are pretty much useless because they're used to control effects and um, I found myself not using effects a lot so I decided to make these buttons more useful so what I did with these buttons and knobs was to actually map them to the sampler and I always keep one bank, the last bank, bank D of my sampler empty so I pretty much use that um, extra bank as extra decks. So I had six ex extra decks. So you'll be hearing me mixing and changing songs on the fly or real quick. That's because I'm playing with like, that's four decks on here. And then an extra six, that's 10 decks I'm playing with because I map volume control onto each knob. So I have six volume controls. And this was when pretty much the sampler was SP6, so it had six samplers, which was perfect. Not only that, this button that, you, that is um, by default used to change the, um, the beat length of your effects, I map this to, um, to change the pitch. So if you're using pitch time, you can use this button to actually go up and down in the, um, in the key, to change the key actually. And then the button below it, which is the tap button, I actually use it as the uh, button to actually sync key between two decks. On the first um, effects knob, it controls the volume for the first sampler bank. And then second, the second sampler controls the volume as well, and so on and so forth. And then the button below now, which is sync, it actually turns sync on and off on the sampler. And the beauty about it is the lights are active. so. When sync is on, it will be lit. If you take a look in the uh, this section right here beside the BPM where the, the key of the song is, you can see I'm using the beats, the effects the beats length to change the key going up and down. So if I play a song like this, I can change it, I can change the pitch. You see that? Go back down. You see? And pretty much the same thing is done on the on the other deck. So I use this knob over here to control pitch control the key actually to control the key of the song on deck two and the other three three um, knobs are used to control the volume on the other three sample slots and then the buttons below are used to control sync as well.